Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam. Today, we're going to be looking at the Round Sound series by Marimba One. Thank you so much to Marimba One for sending me these mallets to review on the show. You guys are awesome. <sighs> and today's episode was a suggestion from two people actually, for Flam and Sir Dante Alucard. That is a very fancy name. Thank you for your suggestions, guys. I was quite curious about the round sounds as well. So they're on today's episode. So you might remember a few episodes ago, I reviewed the wave wraps. No kidding, the birch model of any of the wave wraps is $86.95 US dollars up here. The round sounds are at the bottom of the Marimba One line. They're the entry level, they're affordable. I think lots of people will be able to buy these, which is fantastic. They come in at a very reasonable price of $34.95 US dollars, which is on par with most general entry level mallets like Van Size. So I really like that Marimba One has a mallet for this sector because it's a very, very popular sector. Round sounds come in three hardnesses only, not six, not five, not 21, 21, just three. And also unexpectedly for Marimba One, there is no rattan option, there's only birch. There are three models in the round sound lineup, RS1, which is a hard birch mallet, RS3, which is a medium birch mallet, and RS5, which is a soft birch mallet. And I find it a little bit strange that they called it one, three, and five, and not one, two, three but it kind of makes sense because it aligns with the rest of the Marimba One mallets in that five or six is usually the softest, one or two is usually the hardest, and three or four is usually the medium. So it aligns with the rest of the range, but not with itself. I know Marimba One's been hinting at releasing a two and a four as well, which I think would be really good, but for now we only have three hardnesses. So this means that most people will be able to afford buying the entire series because at $34 a pop and only three hardnesses, it's pretty easy to get. So entry price is very low. That's a good start, Marimba One. So when you first pick up a pair of round sounds, the first thing you notice is that head. I don't know about you, but I love this watermelon head design. It's very cool, very consistent. All hardnesses have the same color, green and white. It passes the patented studio squeeze test. See that? No budging whatsoever. Very robust heads for the price. I love it. As the name suggests, they're all rounded, not like the usual Marimba One oblong shape. So it's a bit more of a direct sound, but still quite warm which I really like. Moving on to the shafts, and these shafts are super, super smooth. Like, Marimba One hasn't skimmed on anything despite this being the cheapest mallet. The bottoms are smooth, the surface is relatively smooth, not as smooth as the wave wraps, but definitely pretty close. I think if you didn't own a pair of wave wraps, you wouldn't notice. Just a great quality finish and it feels great in the hand. Another feature that this mallet has, which is the same as all of its expensive brethren, is the engraving. I'm absolutely in love with the fact that Marimba One uses different fonts for their different models, like the wave wrap's quite cursive, and this one is a very rounded sans serif font. I love it. But what about this line over here? I thought it was a decorative feature when I first saw it, but actually it's a hardness indicator. One line equals RSB1, which is the hardest. Three lines indicates medium, which is RSB3. And finally, five lines is RSB5, which is the softest. I don't think I've ever seen any mallet manufacturer make mallets with lines like that to indicate hardness from a distance. It means that despite the fact all the heads look the same, you can tell the hardness straight away just by looking at how many lines there are. So more lines is softer, less lines is harder. That's just genius. The fact that it's engraved makes it even more premium. So well done Marimba One for not skimping on any features on these mallets, despite the fact they're only $34 a pair. Very good. Now we come to one of my favorite parts of the episode, which is the ergonomics of this mallet. And you know what I'm gonna say, right? 50-50. In terms of weight, this mallet isn't really 50-50. It definitely tends to lean towards the front a little bit more. But I will say it's the lightest mallet in Marimba One's range. Which is saying a lot because Marimba One's mallets are usually on the heavy side. Even their hardest mallets are usually on the heavy side. But these are quite neutral. This is the wrong way around. These mallets are pretty neutral. I mean, they're a little bit heavier than what I'm used to still, but not bad at all. Very nice feel on the hand. They sort of just sit there when you're using a four mallet grip. Best thing is all of the harnesses have pretty much the same weight. So you won't feel any difference when using soft, medium or hard. They all sort of feel just like 55, 45 balanced all the same, which is great. You can't actually tell which one's harder or softer from the weight alone, because they're that similar. So if you're looking for a mallet that is definitely closer to the 50-50, but still a little bit on the heavy side, this is good. I would say these are slightly lighter than the double helixes, so if you're familiar with those, 
this is closer to 50-50. 50-50! Now we've come to the most important part of the video, which is the sound. So I'll leave it to you to decide whether you like the sound of the round sounds. At first I was gonna do some Christmas covers, but now nah, we can do that in the next episode. We're gonna do some Beyonce. Overall, I think the sound is perfectly usable for many applications. I would probably see myself using this more in Ensemble because the sound is not quite as refined as the wave wraps. So don't drop your wave wraps, don't drop your Katazina Mishkas or your Ivana Bilichas just yet. There is a little bit of sacrifice in terms of clarity. Because there are only three hardnesses in the round sound series, they've kind of gone for a sort of middleman approach and none of the sounds really sound fully hard, fully medium or fully soft. They're sort of in between. And as a result, because they're trying to cover all bases and keep costs low, you are going to have a little bit of a sacrifice in sound quality. That being said, if you're looking for an affordable pair of Marimba 1 mallets and you want a bit of extra weight, it's it's gonna work out really well. I can see myself using these in ensembles because they get quite a big sound out of the marimba, especially the RS5s. The 5s, which are the softest, they sound fantastic on the low end. I think they're one of my favorite mallets. They're definitely going in my stick bag. I think for $34.95 and the fact that you're getting the same build quality features across the marimba 1 line, onto the round sounds, as well as quite a decent sound, as well as something that is quite close to 50-50 in terms of ergonomics, you can't really go wrong. I'll definitely give these mallets the studio seal of approval. So yeah, let me know what you think about the round sounds in the comments below. If you've ever owned them before, I would love to hear what you think. If you want to see anything on the show, please leave a comment below. I've had a lot of good suggestions from you guys, heaps of them. The round sounds was one of them. So thank you so much for suggesting stuff. I love it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all the support. We are nearly on 400 subscribers. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night!